Hi, infant friends. As you know, my name is Ashley, and today we are going to be reading Franklin Plays the Game. Franklin could slide down a riverbank. He could tie his shoes and count by twos. He could walk to Bear's house all by himself, but Franklin could not kick a soccer ball straight. That was a problem because Franklin wanted to be the best player on his team. Franklin loved soccer. He liked the running and the dribbling. He especially liked the uniforms. He wore his purple and yellow jersey and matching shin pads, even when he wasn't playing soccer. Sometimes he slept with his soccer ball and dreamed of scoring goals. Before every game Franklin practiced in the park, he kicked the ball with the inside of his foot again and again. He did warm up stretches and cool down walks. Still, Franklin was having trouble. He couldn't run very fast, even without a soccer ball between his feet. And when Franklin kicked the ball, it never wet, went where he intended. Goose watched Franklin's ball fly into the bushes. I'll never score a goal, said Franklin sadly. Neither will I, said Goose. I keep forgetting the rule that says I cannot use my wings unless I'm the goalkeeper and everybody is getting mad at me. Goose showed Franklin how wide her wings stretched. Beaver was watching too. And I'll never score a goal, she said because my tail is so long and heavy that it drags me down. She ran for a bit. Franklin and Goose could see the problem. No wonder we never win any games, said Franklin. It was true. Franklin's team had not won a game all season. Bear's team won every game. Losing didn't bother coach. She said the same thing before each game. Let's just have fun out there. Losing didn't bother Franklin's parents, who shouted, nice try, whenever Franklin got the ball. But it did bother Franklin a lot. What's wrong? asked Franklin's father. I never score a goal, answered Franklin. But you try and you have fun, said Franklin's father. That's the important thing. Franklin nodded. That's what all the grown-ups said, but he really wanted everybody to cheer for him. He just wanted to score a goal. It wasn't only Franklin who felt that way. Each one of Franklin's friends wanted to score a goal as well, but the harder they tried, the worse they played. Franklin forgot where to stand and Goose forgot what to do. Whenever the ball came to Franklin's teammates, they rushed toward it. Players tripped over feet and tails and long ears. They crashed into a heap. Coach helped untangle the players. You have to work together as a team. You have to share the ball. But it wasn't easy. Their team lost again, and it made them feel sad. Franklin huddled inside his shell, Beaver tucked in her tail, and Goose folded her wings. The other team came to shake hands. Nice try, said Bear. Franklin didn't come out of his shell, but Bear bounced the soccer ball up and down. Come on, Franklin, said Bear. Franklin poked out his head. At that moment, Bear's ball was coming up. Franklin bounced the ball off the top of his head, and it went flying straight to Goose. She spread her wings. Saved, Franklin shouted. Beaver was so excited that she flapped her tail up and down. That's it, cried Franklin. What is, asked Bear. Franklin smiled at Beaver and Goose. I think I know how we can score goals, he said, patting his head. But it will take teamwork. Every day until the next game, Franklin and the team practiced in the park. They giggled and laughed and dribbled and bounced. They played in the rain and slid in the mud. One day, Bear came by. What are you doing? He asked. Just having fun, said Franklin. He could hardly wait until the next game. It was time for the final game. The teammates huddled together. Let's show them what we can do, said Franklin. But within the first minutes of the game, Bear's team scored a goal. Team, said coach, it's time for your special play. Goose went into the goal. She used her wings as much as she wanted and made three saves. The crowd cheered. Goose spotted Franklin on the field and tossed the ball to him. 
It landed on Franklin's head. One strong bop, and Franklin sent the ball soaring to Beaver with a swish of her tail. Beaver passed the ball to Rabbit. He lifted his big foot and kicked the ball into the net. And Franklin's team scored! The teammates jumped for joy and hugged one another. For the rest of the game, they played their best. Franklin even headed the ball twice, but nobody on his team scored again. Bear's team scored one more time to win the game. Coach gave all her players a ribbon. You should be proud of yourselves, she said. Franklin's parents invited the team out for a treat. Why, asked Franklin. Our team didn't win. You look like winners to us, said his father. Franklin had to agree. They were tired and dirty, but happy. Sure signs of a winning team. Thanks for listening, friends. Bye.